Well, hello, and welcome to the Pump Room, the nature edition. <laughs> you might be wondering why I'm stood here in wellies knee deep in a river. Well, today it's a very special episode for you because we need to get a very special ingredient, which can only be located in rivers such as this in the middle of but nowhere. So without further ado, let's do some fishing. We have to be very patient with the net as you have to wait for it to come into the net itself. One minute, 37 seconds later. Aha! Well, it looks like we're eating tonight because I have managed to fish out Tesco's finest anchovies. What are we doing today? Well, it was World Margarita Day last week and uh, we were a little bit late to the party. So we're going to show you how to make anchovy syrup. Will it be good? Will it be shit? Who knows? Let's find out. So you didn't mishear me. We're gonna try and make a margarita with anchovy syrup. Anchovies are incredibly salty and margaritas have a salt rim, so maybe it will go. I've never had anchovies because I think I have taste. Ali loves them. He'll even have them on his pizza and he'll eat them out of the tin. It's kind of grim. I love anchovies. Before we get into making the anchovy syrup, the first thing we need to do is make a sugar syrup. Sugar syrup can also be known as simple syrup, gum, bar syrup, sweet sauce, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's basically like the normal spec. Some people do two to one, uh, most people do one to one, which is like, you know, one part sugar to one part water, you boil it till it goes clear, and then you have simple syrup. It's probably one of the first things you learn to make in a bar, that and juicing limes and how to shake a drink. So it's very much your bread and butter. Is this gonna work? Maybe. It might work. I might vomit. I'm not sure. Like, this is going to be an adventure that we can go on together. Wish me luck. Right, so what we're going to do to start off with is we're going to make sugar syrup. So what I have here is 500 mils of water. So I want to bring that for it to kind of get to like just before simmering. And then we're going to add in 500 grams of sugar. A little longer than a few minutes later. Right, so now that our water's heated up, we're going to add the sugar to the mix. So I'm just gonna whack it all in because I'm not fussy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stir it until the mixture becomes clear. Ali loves anchovies, so he's gonna he's gonna love this. Anchovy paste is sold in the UK underneath the name Gentleman's Relish. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, but a gentleman's relish right on my toast. Keep mm, stirring. Yes. Salty. Okay, cool. So now that our sugar syrup has gone clear, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the heat down. We're going to open up our anchovies. <laughs> I need tweezers for this, Ali. They're hairy. There's hair on them, Ali. That's bones. Oh. What? Okay, because they're covered in oil, I'm going to just dunk them in water. I am not convinced. Like, this is just a whole new level. In the Roman times, anchovies were eaten raw as a form of aphrodisiac. Fishy, oily water. So I think we got most of the bright oil off it. Okay, so what we're gonna do... This is what happens when we're left to our own devices. I'm just gonna put that in here. I don't want to touch the fishy water. Oh, it's, it's on my hand. It's everywhere. This is a disaster. Okay, so there's like a light film of oil. This is like the grimmest thing. I've like, I, I've, oh, this is probably worse than cleaning a toilet. What? Oh my God, it's so fishy, Ali. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to let that sit for 10 minutes on a very low heat to get all that lovely fishy goodness. Later. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna straighten this out. Oh my god, there's just... It's brown! It's brown! I don't, I just, I feel sick. God, okay, cool. So as you can see, they've literally like liquidated. Look at this. There's just two tins of anchovies in that. Okay, so we're gonna just turn this off. 
So we're gonna make a margarita with it and I'm gonna go Tommy's style. So instead of agave, I'm gonna be using sugar syrup. The Tommy's margarita originated Tommy's bar in San Francisco. You can still go there to this day. I'm really sorry to anyone that I probably would offend doing this. I'm just sorry for myself. So I'm gonna give this a, a smell. There's like a brown layer. Like, honestly, if you wanted to make this a bit clearer, I'd put it through, I'd let this settle and put it through a coffee filter. Um, I'm gonna taste this syrup now. This is just a, this is asking a lot. This was Ali's idea. Anchovies. Oh. Anchovies. I'm not even getting paid for this. Okay, I'm just gonna like put a little. Oh, oh my god. Um it's it's sweet and it's fishy. Get a straw, give it a, give it a try. It's very sweet. It's very fishy. I like anchovies. Okay, right. Right, so a Tommy's margarita is classically served in a rocks glass. We're gonna do this in a martini glass because we think it's special. The first thing I'm gonna do is rim the glass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a lime wedge and then I'm just gonna take this salt and just do like a slight rim, just press it down. You're already judging me. <laughs> I have appreciated that already. I'm judging me. I'm judging Ali. Right, so now we've got our salted glass. I'm just really sorry, okay? Like, th this could be, like, the next big thing. It could be huge. Classic Tommy spec is usually 25, 25, 50. Um, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna use 50 mils of Altos tequila. <laughs> Put it in there, and then um, I'm gonna use half a lime. Nice juicy one, just squeeze that in. Two ingredients that definitely belong in a Tommy's. And I'm gonna free pour this because I just don't want it touching <laughs> of um, our anchovy sugar syrup. Like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> A good shake. And then we're gonna fine strain it into our glass. This is gonna come out brown. <laughs> then we'll then we'll garnish it. What with? With an anchovy. <laughs> it looks like something died in a glass. Like I'm just not com okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to try it now. I'm gonna get the bucket. It's not awful. Nope, it is. Ali, this looks like a drink for you. Would you like to come round and try it? And here's the man himself. You get some of that fishy notes in it. Really? I had no idea that you'd get fishy notes in a fishy margarita. You're not going to eat the anchovy, are you? Maybe. Very salty. It's still really salty. That's a good margarita. I don't know you. Mm. So what's your verdict? I like anchovies. Yeah! So, you, you like anchovies? I, I, like I had no idea. I like anchovies. I'll, 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 would I order it? Yeah, probably. Leave this bar. I think it's nice, I think it's alright. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Alright. To those of you who work in bartending, I'm sorry. To those of you at home who go, oh, I might give this a try. I'm also sorry. Have you ever had a margarita with a fishy based sugar syrup? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. New videos every Monday. You can even buy a lovely pump print pin. The link is in the description below. It's even in our Instagram bio. Look at this lovely pin. You'll even get a nice personal note from us. Maybe even an anchovy. See you next week.